Monkey 1000, and today I got a parcel. Um, we're we're doing a test today on this product, so stay tuned, and we'll be right back. if we wanted to do another one so yeah I said sure so um, they sent me a, um, a, a waterproof bag case that you can put your cell phone in so I figured we'd try this out and see how well it works and it is it's by Koda 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 waterproof bag it's waterproof, air padded, and touch friendly. Secure seal. That's what it says. So it has warm tips. Please test the phone bag before use. Place a tissue inside the phone bag mm. and soak it in water for an hour. Did you read this already? No, how? It's, it's sealed. <laughs> how? Oh, no. Tell them why. Tell them why you're saying that. Why am I saying that? It's because we were arguing about I needed to put a cell phone in here and I wanted to test and see how well it works. So I was going to, I got some water here and we're going to put it in there. So he says, well, you don't need a cell phone to do that, first of all. Second of all, because you're not testing the cell phone, you are testing the bag and you can use anything. So I'm going to put a piece of paper in there. I did not read this until now, so, but Shaver was the one who recommended me using the paper. And so anyways, we'll, we'll try it. And then it said, do not use if tissue gets wet and contact us for support. Please do not use it in hot springs or hot tubs. Avoid strong shock, crash sharp objects during use. Avoid use it under the sun for a long time, meaning don't leave it out in direct sunlight. Mm -hmm. uh, make sure the foam bag is tightly sealed before underwater using and store it in a dry place for use. So, there you go. I'm going to open this up and we'll see how it works out. Okay. So, here we go. It's in a big container. We thought it was awful big, but when we uh, were looking, feeling it in the bag there, so... Um, Let's see if I can get this open here. That said touch capabilities. Yeah. That means you can use your phone while it's in the case. Right, right. That'd be good on the boat. Yeah, yeah, it will be. So, um, yeah. You can use this stuff. Huh? Well, I got paper here. Put this in with it. I gotta open this poor thing up first. Okay, here we go. This stuff sometimes is hard to get out. Alright. It's Kokoda. Yeah, Kokoda. Yeah. So, it came from Amazon. I'll leave the, the information in the description. So if you guys are interested in this, you can get one. It got here in two days. Yeah, it came in two days. I didn't get it today, but I haven't been able to do. Did I get two? Oh, cool beans. Got two. One for each if you There's want. Two? Yeah, I have two in here. That wonder. Yeah, two pack. What it is is we, we buy it and they reimburse it. Yeah, yeah. So we bought it and then they already reimbursed my money. Mm -hmm. So we don't have to do videos for these. They even tell us that, but they just want us to do a review on it. So I figured why not, you know. And if we like it, just put the link yeah. to that product in our most viewed video. Yeah. But we don't have to video. We don't even have to go on Amazon and write a review. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, you don't have to. That's cool. Well, they do like to like for us to let them know how the product works. Right. I really like the phone holder. Yeah, I do. I have it. Mine. I have it in the car. I have mine in the car. Yeah. So let me see how you take this apart here. The instruction. Um, right there. There's instructions here too. Oh, it's just a picture thing. You just got to take this off. And, uh, yeah. <coughs> yeah, you got to take this off. Just kind of comes apart. Just like that. So, and there you go. Take that out. And it's got the same information as on the other package. So, I don't know if you can see that one. You can probably see this one a lot better. So, if you're interested, yeah, there was two, two in a pack. That's pretty cool. And you on the boot? <coughs> yep. You get one, I get one. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I got. I brought my phone so we can make sure it goes in there. But I'm not putting my phone in the water. No, it tells you not to. No. Mm -mm. But yep, it fits perfectly. See if you. Uh... Uh, let me see. Yep, I can turn it on, and I can scroll it. There we go. Oh, it's working? Yeah. Good. Yeah, see, I can touch it. Yep. Let's see. Go to the phone here. See if I can do the pad. Right here. Uh, yep. So, it, it's easy. It's nice. It's, it's so easy to do. Very, very nice. Yep, and then it gives you a strap. Lanyard. Mm hmm. Lanyard. A lanyard. Lanyard. A lanyard. Mm hmm. It's a strap. <coughs> just like my other one that I had. And then you just, I like this one better because the, this one, it stays on there. You know, it doesn't come off. And the one that I have, these little doodads, they come completely off and you got to play with them to get them on there. So, oh, yeah, and you can lose them. And... Yeah, yeah. These are attached to it, so that's nice. I like that idea. Yeah, so, okay. So, we'll put the paper in there and take my phone out. All right, so let's put the paper in here. You want to do one and do what I do the other? No? Do you don't want to do one? Put them both in there. Huh? Put them both in there. Oh, I was going to do this one too. So the paper. And yeah. I'll do this one and that one and I'll do this one in here. Okay. Just to check them so you might as well. Yeah. yeah. And you can check them both at the same time. Yeah. Now this, I might have a little play here with this thing. Trying to get it back on. But I don't know. I'll have to read it and see how I put these back on here. Because this one just went through the holes. Well, that one did. But this one isn't through the holes. Okay, there we go. All right, just got to play with it. And then clip it. And that's it. There we go. And we'll do the other one. I'm not going to put the straps on because I don't want them wet. And we'll do the blue one. Oh, blue one. Yeah. Why is that one so fluffy? It probably has air in there. See? Yeah. Oh, cool. cool. Yeah. And I'll open this one up. It's not like you're going to be keeping it in water or anything anyway. No. In case you drop it. Right. If it falls over or if it gets splattered on from going fast in the boat. Or you water. get it on the picnic table when we're camping and it starts raining. Yeah. Something. Oh, shit, my phone's yeah. out there. Yeah, that's what it's for. Yeah. So, we're not going to be running over it with cars and stuff like that. No. Mm-mm. So... Oh, it's 
not meant for that. I think I have to just play with the hole. Got that one. Look, this one closed on me. There we go. So, and then you just clip it. Okay, so. Now I already got my bowl of water. Okay. And let's say make sure the foam bag is tightly sealed before underwater using. Okay. And uh, it says to test it for half an hour. I thought you said an hour. It says half an hour. Okay. So we're going to test it. Will you? You want to put the timer on it for me? Alright. Okay, so here we go, and we'll put the timer on, and when the timer comes off, we'll come back. There you go. I want you to see. Yeah, it's in there. I mean, it's floating on top. It's supposed to float on top. It's not supposed to be. I wonder if it'll float with a phone in it. Well, of course it would. It's supposed to. Yeah, I bet you it does. Well, does it say? Uh, no, it doesn't. But I'm sure it would. I mean, just for a few minutes, you know. If you were in the ocean. Well, if it don't leak, I'll throw my phone in there. We'll see if it floats so we can let your viewers know. Okay, well, we're going to come back after the timer comes due. And uh, we'll be back. Interesting. Okay. Okay, everyone, so it's about 30 minutes now, so um, I'm going to take them out and wipe them off real good one at a time here, and then we'll open them up and see how well they're doing here. So, just wipe it off real good so we know that we didn't get anything inside from the package being out wet outside. Pouch, I should say. Pretty cool. You just got your thing wet. Huh? Got what wet? What wet? That. What this? Mm-hmm. Oh. I got another piece here too. Okay. We're good. Okay. And I will do the other one here too. And then we can move the bowl. I like them, I think. So far, I like them. I feel nice. They're puffy. They're supposed to be puffy like this on purpose, so they're not supposed to. It kind of gives it padding, I guess. And there we go. Make sure it's good and dry. I'm going to move the bowl out of my way so you can see. Alright, so let's open these up. That one's still got wetness on the outside. Pretty good. Alright. And this one is dry. Okay, let's open this. I'll open this one up. And you just take it apart like that. And there you go. Nice and dry. No problem. So, I like it. Do notice that the water does get in here a little bit. Right here. But when it was closed, it was not wet inside at all. Or this would be soaking wet. Or a little bit wet. That's all outside stuff. So that's good. Huh? And here's the other one. I'll open this one up too. And I've got the paper in this one. I'm going to reach it and pull it out. Nice and dry. So that's a good that they tell you to do a test on it. So then that way, you know, if it's broken or leaking, you know, you never know. I do notice that the water gets in here when you're opening it. It just drips down. So it's not like it's doing that when it is closed up. So you just have to watch that, I guess. No, it's because 
that's not the waterproof part. The bag itself is not the clip. Right, right. And there's no wetness on the inside at all. No. So that's good. Yeah. Okay, so what we found out on here. Okay, so if you're interested in this, it's on Amazon. And right now it's on sale for $9.58. And I paid twelve ninety nine for it. For two. Oh, you man. get you get two for that. It is also it's certified for a hundred feet underwater, which I think is pretty good. Pretty so good. you can you can do the scuba diving thing if you want and go down a hundred feet and it's that's impressive. Thirty meters. Yeah, it'd be thirty meters. So that's pretty good. And you know, as you saw, I had my cell phone in there and I could scroll it and move it around and I could call if I needed to call somebody just fine through it. So that worked out really good. I I'm I like it. I like this one a lot better. And I like it better than my other one because mo this is attached, that's why. And this thing here was so complicated on the other one that it would just fall apart. And they do float. Yeah, and they float. So if it dropped in the swimming pool or dropped while you were fishing, it will float. So that's good. Yes, it, it will float. So that was pretty, pretty cool. I like them. I'm very, very happy with it. And it will fit up to seven inches of um, cell phone. So yeah, that's, that's good. And then you put your tie on here. I'll show you so you know how. Uh, let me close this up here. And you just got to line it up a little bit. And this one, and close it up. And there we go. And then you take this little doodad, and you're going to put it through here. Right? Or do you take it off first? I think you have to take it off. How did you do it? How did I do it? Before. You gotta zip this through here, I know that. And maybe it goes like through here. Yeah, you just swing it through. That's all. I'm making it more harder than it has to be. And this should be fine, right? Like this? See? Okay. Oh. Yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. How did you get that apart? Just like that. Oh, okay, I got it. You just gotta squeeze these two little pieces there, and then you clip this on, just like that. I made it harder than I had to. Adjustable. So you put it around your neck, and there you go. Off I go to the swimming pool. So. Anyways, yes, I like it a lot. I think it's worth the money. Definitely. You get two of them. And, uh, yeah. Especially if it'll save a $1,000 phone. Yes, yes. I agree. Yes. These are very important to have. They'll be great for boating when we go boating. We'll, we'll use these for boating. So, and it'll be nice. And, yep. So, if you're interested, I'll put the, the whole thing down in the description below. So, you, you can click on it. And go right to the to the site and that's it for now I hope you like the video and yep I I'm gonna I'm gonna use these so I will use these so monkey says she's out for now y'all y'all have a great evening and see you in the next one bye y'all okay guys I just wanted to show you the one that I got now I got this one at Walmart and this one I've had, you probably have seen me in the boat with it. Um, yeah, so this is how it comes. It comes all, all completely apart like this. And what you do, you're supposed to line it up with the pouch in there and then clip it like that. And um, it's not easy, believe me. It ain't easy. See, I can't even open these. Pain in the butt. And that's why I like the other one much better. And what you got to do, these little doohickey things here, you're supposed to put these on here. 
and line them up. This is, and you have to line them up to these little holes that you got here, which is a pain. See, I, I just lose my patience with this thing. You gotta do it every time you put your phone. Yeah, every time, because every time you open it up, this piece comes off, they both come apart, and they all fall apart with these two little things come off. So if you lose one of these, then you can't put this thing together and you see that I'm already losing my patience with it. So yeah, it's basically junk. Um, yeah, and I don't even use it because because of that. You know, so the other one, that's why I was, I like to see you have to line them up with the holes. And then you put this in here. Uh, it's just a pain in that butt. Anyways, I thought I would throw that in so you knew that, um, yeah. How much was that one? I think I paid nine dollars for it you at Walmart. One, yeah, sad. and I only got one, and yeah, I was not happy with this, so I don't even use it. I hopefully will use the other one because it is attached, and it was so much easier, so much easier, and it can go down in the water a long time, a hundred feet. So I mean, yeah. I, I'm never going to be down that deep anyways, but if it falls over, it floats and everything. This one, I think it floats for a little bit, but it is nothing compared to that one. <coughs> this one is not puffy like the other one at all. It's flat. Yeah, the other one traps air, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this one probably would try to sink if you didn't grab it quick enough. So, yeah. Anyways, I thought I'd throw that one into you so you know the difference and not to go buy this one at Walmart. Anyways, my sushi's out. Bye, y'all.